Hey, I'm Victoria, author, editor, and the owner of Blue Pen. Today we're going to do a quick demo of Scrivener for iOS. So if you love Scrivener, which I do, you may have wished that you could have it on mobile. And surprise, you can! Uh, the downside is that it's only available for iOS, so if you do not have an iPhone or an iPad, then that's kind of a bummer. But if you do have one of those two things, then you might consider uh, getting the Scrivener iOS app. So we're just going to jump right in and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I'm on an iPhone right now. This app is also awesome on iPads. Um, that's honestly one of the primary ways that I use it is on my iPad with a, with a Bluetooth keyboard. So when you open it up, you're going to see your projects. You'll see projects stored in Dropbox or directly on your device. Um, another one of the downsides here is that all you can use for uh, cloud storage is Dropbox. So that is the only option for syncing between the app and your desktop files. Now that said, the Dropbox syncing works beautifully. So the only thing you may have to change is your organizational system. If you need to um, you know, move some of your files over to Dropbox, but just keep all your Scrivener files in Dropbox and it'll work just fine. Um, the other really important thing to remember is to make sure you close your project after each session. So if the project is open on multiple devices simultaneously, then you could have issues. So remember to, to close that project when you're finished with it and you shouldn't have any problems. All right, so from this screen, you can create a project or you can go into one of your existing projects. And this is gonna look really familiar. This is like the binder on, um, on, uh, on desktop. So from here, we can go into any of our research, uh, any of our files that we have, or straight into our manuscript. Now, um, if you use color coding for different point of views or timelines, then of course that shows up here, which is very nice. Uh, you can also add text, character sketches, setting sketches, you can add folders, you can do, it, it's very user friendly. Um, yeah. And then you can go into your separate, um, there we go. You can go into your separate chapters here and then into your, uh, into your actual text and Edit nice and easy. You have the inspector here, so you can access all of that information, your synopsis, your label, your status. And you can share individual, um, individually like this, you can send it in whatever format you want. Um, you can also compile. So to compile your entire draft on mobile, you see it's kind of a pared down version of the compile that you might be used to on desktop. Uh, but you have well, a limited number of formats here, but pretty much anything that you'll need and you can tweak the appearance. Now, um, I have never actually used Compile on mobile. Um, if you also have Scrivener for desktop, then there isn't really a reason to compile on mobile um, unless, you know, maybe something comes up while you're out in the wild. 
um, I guess there could be a scenario, but for the most part, you're probably going to compile on desktop unless you are a mobile only user. Uh, okay, so that is that. And honestly, there isn't a whole lot to show you. Um, I just wanted to do a demo and, you know, let you see what it looks like. But this is, you know, you can access your recent stuff here, which makes navigation easier. Um, bookmarks, of course, it's, it's very user friendly. Um, and, bes yeah, and it will sync automatically. So there's that. Um, you can also sync manually. So, um, yeah, if you are a Scrivener user and you find yourself wanting to access your projects on the go, then this is a great option. Um, it is $20, $23, $24, I believe, in the App Store. Um, but like, like Scrivener, uh, it's a lifetime license. It's not a subscription model, which is fantastic. Um, yeah. It's a great app, and if you're interested um, in seeing a more in-depth blog post with some uh, screenshots and other information about how I use it and what I think the pros and cons are, um, I will link that in the description box. But otherwise, I just wanted to show you kind of a live demo so you can see what it looks like and get a feel for it. and hopefully decide whether it's something that would be beneficial for your workflow. So that's all for today. Happy writing and I'll see y'all next time.